When Patty Huffines, the chair of the Texas Exes, called me and left a message, I thought surely it had to be an assignment because why would the chair of the board of the Texas Exes call me? Uh, what a surprise to learn of this grand award for a gal who graduated from a class of nine in rural Texas and got accepted to UT, well, double wow. Thank you. I want to thank those who nominated me and the board for awarding me this great honor. I also want to thank those who participated in the video, all of whom are remarkable in their own right, all bleed orange except for one. His name is Sergio Rodriguez. You can take him in the back alley, it'll be okay. <laughs> because of my experience at the University of Texas, I was able to take advantage of internship opportunities at the Capitol. It was this foray into state government that piqued my interest, and like many of my Capitol family, I can honestly say I grew up there. It was the beginning of a career I enjoyed today. It began as a Senate messenger, then later working in the office of Lieutenant Governor Bill Hobby, and finally working for the late trailblazer, the first Mexican-American woman elected to the legislature, State Representative Irma Rangel. My parents knew Irma well, and all of them had a strong sense of social justice, especially as educators, who were intimately aware of the challenges of the day. As most of you know, Irma strongly believed in education as a pathway to success. To quote Irma's friend, John Nags, UT Austin alumnus and historian, Irma was a brilliant and courageous political leader whose legacy will continue to shine brightly throughout history. Irma's best friends, Joe and Dr. Teresa Lozano Long, believed the same. While Irma was legislating, the Longs had long pursued their dream to provide students across the state with funding to attend college, and in many cases, fully funding the education of students through scholarships. Two great examples of their commitment include the Lozano Long Medical School in San Antonio, and the, Lilas, the uh, Latin American Studies uh, Lilas here at, on the 40 acres. In fact, the UT Austin motto of what starts here changes the world is realized every day at Lilas Benson Institute. And I know intimately because I served as chair for several years. Because of my UT pathway, I have had the privilege of being mentored by these individuals who continue to play an inspirational role in my life through their transformative and impactful actions, all dedicated to improving our communities, whether through public service, civic engagement, social justice, volunteerism, or philanthropy. I can proudly say thank you to the UT Board of Regents who this year established a 300 million endowment to expand free tuition programs and President Hartzell's effort, the What Starts Here campaign, which aims to raise six billion by the end of 2025, with $1 billion allocated for student scholarships and success programs. I know we are moving in the right direction, and I applaud the University of Texas and the UT system. Today, I'm also reminded of uh, UT, the speaker at the UT graduation early this year encouraged us all to answer our phones because an opportunity might be on the other side. While my call was not Matthew McConaughey like his were, <laughs> please know, Patty, you and the board are on equal footing <laughs> because this recognition may be one of the most important to me in my life. Finally, I also want to thank family and friends that came to celebrate. My sisters are here, my nephews are here, and friends from San Antonio and Houston, thank you. I want to especially thank Joe Long for being here, Senator Judah Safarini, uh, Representative Gina Nahosa, and Representative-elect Lulu Flores, as well as Dr. Julieta Garcia. I want to say that all we do, we cannot do without the loving support um, of our family. So to my husband, Billy, sometimes called Deacon Billy, thank you for all your love and support, and especially for the daily reminder that all are invited to the Lord's table. <laughs>